I hope you guys are ready for some motivation today because we are taking on the spring cleaning together. Take a look at your list, but today I'm gonna be in the bathroom, even scrubbing the walls. Of course, we have to degrease this kitchen, take care of all the dishes. We have a mountain of laundry, and then we're gonna hit some of the areas that only come around a couple times a year, like the ceiling fans. Thank you guys so much for clicking and watching this video. If you're new, I'd love to have you stay and subscribe. And to everyone else, what's up? Welcome back. I am showing you guys the up close, the real, the nasty today. Some very satisfying shots so you guys can have some good cleaning motivation. Just so you don't think I'm superhuman, this is a couple days worth of cleaning fit into one video. Nobody can do it all. That is what the floor looks like, so I'm very excited to get vacuuming and mopping and there's like a stray piece of broccoli hanging out. Um, I'm starting here in the kitchen as always because I can't function if the kitchen is in a dysfunctional state. I'm trying to remember what happened this week, it was probably chaotic. We have three girls, if you're new. We have an almost six year old, she turns six or she just turned six probably when this video is up. A four year old and then Britton just turned one a few weeks back as well. So we've got a lot coming and going from the household. This countertop right here, the peninsula, I think it's what it's called, it gets so cluttered. Every paper that comes out of a backpack sits here, all of the drawings that you don't know what to do with. Should I hang it on the fridge? Should I frame it? Should I throw it away when they're asleep? That is usually what I'm picking up from here and then all the stuffies that are left after breakfast. When I'm cleaning up, I usually go by a system where I collect all of the trash first and then I move on to the dishes. Ooh, the dishwasher was already empty, which is a miracle. So I'm filling that up, but I just sprayed that one pan that sat overnight with uh, Dawn Power Wash. And then I usually let that sit and chill and do its own thing while I'm loading up the dishwasher because that can work on its own. You don't have to scrub as hard later, I found. Um, and then of course I've got my little helper, Britt, helping me out here with the dirty dishes, trying not to let her touch the like, you know, chicken, the plates that the like, chicken was cut on and stuff like that. But she is an adventurer and a climber. Oh my goodness. She, every chance she gets to try to climb up into this dishwasher. And I just set some gates up in the playroom, but she does not like to be alone in there, even though she could see me in the kitchen. So usually I will try to empty the dishwasher first thing in the morning, and then we can fill it up as the day goes. Obviously on this day, we already had a very full dish, dish or a very full sink, but it just goes so much smoother if I don't have to fill it up while she's awake. Um, so I usually try to do that in the morning or maybe during nap time. Right now she is only down to one nap, which makes it a little tricky. Normally I use this Dawn Power Wash, which you guys know I love. This is fresh scent. I think it smells so good. The pink stuff sent me this to try out and this one's almost gone, so I feel like it was a good time to try this out. The only thing that I don't love about this is the smell. It's not a bad smell, I just don't know what. It's familiar, but I don't know what it reminds me of. I just, I really love the smell of this one. I haven't used this enough to see how it compares on the dishes, but I just prefer the smell of this one. This is the other stuff they sent me to try out, which I have tried before. I really liked it when I was cleaning my oven at the old house. I'm gonna try it on the bottom of this pan, which I know is not going to come off, but maybe you can get some of it. So the truth on these pans, I still very much love them. They're great non-stick pans, and I take care of them the way they say. I don't put them through the dishwasher. I try to wash them. You know, every day that we use them, occasionally they'll chill overnight, but I don't like it when that happens. But the bottoms I've just given up on. I know they're not gonna look pretty anymore. I gave them a good scrub with the pink stuff. I did not go as hard as I could because I'm just not too worried about it. And I feel like there are some products out there that I could really try to attack the bottom there, but I just think it's gonna be a little bit brown forever and I'm not really um, too worried about it. I don't really care.
So Nick works from home. You'll see him come and go every once in a while in the videos. And he was just letting the dog outside during this one. But we were talking about what we think the pink stuff smells like. And we both thought it's something kind of fruity, but we can't place it. So if you know what it is, leave us a comment down below. But I am finishing up all the dishes and now I'm gonna give the drain, the garbage disposal, a good cleaning. And that is by using baking soda and then pouring vinegar into it. I feel like vinegar can literally clean anything in your house. I put some um, basil leaves down that garbage disposal. So that took care of the smell of that. If I had a nickel for every time that I've scrubbed down these countertops, the two seats that the girls sit in obviously see the most wear and um, look, Charlie's handing me her peanut butter and jelly knife. She was making her own peanut butter and jelly while I was cleaning up here. Um, they're like the area in front of their seats see the most action. So I usually have to scrub a little bit harder in those spots, whatever has dried on there from the day. And then for the most part during the day, I can just use a microfiber cloth and whatever spray I'm using to spray down things. If there's something on the countertop that needs a disinfecting, like, you know, we made chicken or some other food that kind of grosses me out, I will use a disinfecting spray. And then if it's just uh, something sticky, I usually typically, I'll typically use my Mrs. Meyers um, multi-purpose spray just because I like the scent of it. Those before and afters give me life. They are the best part of any cleaning video. I also love watching people clean up and it definitely motivates me to get up and do something. This is our main bedroom here. I swapped the rug from the living room to back up in this room because that one that I had put, it's like a long story. Anyway, the one that was up here was always meant to be in the living room and it looks better with the colors down there. So this rug will stay up here now and the other one will stay down there now. No more rug swapping. I know you're probably rolling your eyes, but it's fine. Anyway, I had to move the entire bed and everything under it to be able to put the rug down. And I found some trash to go through and some things that I didn't even know were here from when we moved. And then um, picking up the bedding. I want to switch out our sheets. I don't wash our duvet inserts every week. I don't know how often you're supposed to be doing that. Somebody can let me know, but I do change our sheets every week. And when doing that, I have this habit I realized. I will go to bed with socks on and then um, like halfway through the night at some point in my sleep, I'll kick the socks off. And the other day I could not find any of my socks. Like I had just bought a new pack of socks. I couldn't find any of them. And as I was changing this from the week, you'll see I found every single pair of socks. They were stuck down in um, like the end of the bedding. So glad I changed that. Finally can wash the socks now that I found them. And I've got two duvets on here. One is like the more silky one from, I think it's called Cozy Earth. 
and we like that the way that that one feels and then on top is just if it's colder at night a lot of times though they get separated and i will end up with one and nick will end up with one it works out so there's no fights no fights breaking out at night I promise you I will wash these new pillowcases. I just wanted to see what they'd look like. Um, these are the same ones that we have. They're just in a white. I was a little over the green that I had put out for Christmas time. These are the Jersey Knit, I think from Casa Luna at Target. And we have this sheet set. And then um, I rotate that sheet set between the Cozy Earth ones that we have. So whenever I'm washing, like I'll put the other sheet set on there for the week. So basically we just go back and forth. I know I should wash these first, but I really just wanted to get them on. Um, the trick, I always find that our standard size pillowcases are bigger than the standard size pillows, which is annoying. And I just don't like the overhang look usually. So the little trick that I found to do is to um, take one side and tuck it in like this. Just kind of tuck it in. Then you tuck that top part down into where you've just tucked and it kind of holds it in place. And it looks like the pillowcase actually fits on your pillow. These are still my favorite pillows. I bought these LOL pillows maybe two, two, over two years ago now probably. They're very, very comfy. The same goes for king size pillows. You could do the exact same trick. The box I was talking about that I found under the bed most of its decor and I completely forgot that it was under here um, I also have our big weighted blanket which I just put under there we use it a lot more in the winter time or at least Nick does he kind of stole it from me after making fun of me for getting such a heavy weighted blanket and I haven't been able to use it since but we I put it down there for the winter time because we're usually using lighter stuff right now this box was a little bit tricky to make decisions on because I wasn't like I didn't have a place for some of the decor but I knew that I was gonna probably use it so I kept a few of the pieces and then broke down that box and threw out the rest of the trash and then I needed to clean up the area over on my side of the bed Okay, getting into some of the things that I'm gonna consider spring cleaning. I'm not really sure what all is considered spring cleaning. Nobody ever really taught me that, I feel like. I've just been watching other people do it. And this um, cleaning off the blinds, dusting off the blinds, I do not do very often. So I am flipping each side here and using the duster. And I really hate this job, probably one of my least favorites. And it, I feel like it makes my allergies <laughs> worse, just bringing up all the dust. So I'm using that. I know I could probably vacuum it or something, um, but I was just trying to move quickly. And then I, I don't think I filmed it, but I went back through and I sprayed down these windows too. 
Uh, speaking of the vacuum, I figured that because there were just big chunks of dust hanging off the blades of the ceiling fan, I just wanted to take the vacuum around each edge and then I ended up just kind of vacuuming across the top as well. I know there are so many better ways to do this, but this was all spur of the moment spring cleaning. I do believe this was on a weekend now and I just went on a cleaning kick and I did every room. I actually have several cleaning videos coming up this month just because I went crazy cleaning. I had a lot of motivation and I just took advantage of that. So I take on the basement coming up next and that is a that is a dusty room that you're gonna wanna see. So if you are not subscribed already, hit subscribe and breathe in all that dust that we're about to kick up. I feel like I talk about this attachment all the time, but this is my favorite for furniture, for the stairs. I always pop on this attachment when I am vacuuming off the sofa downstairs. We do not use these chairs in here very often, but I somehow managed to get a lot of dust and um, some dog hair off of them. The dog doesn't even come up in this room, so I'm always impressed at his ability to spread fur to every crevice of our house. The baby was having fun there, um, playing with the chairs. And now this room is all cleaned up. I hope you guys are getting motivated. I love a fresh bedroom, but I hate laundry. So we're gonna move quickly through the laundry. And I have been staying on top of my doing a small load of laundry every couple days so that I don't have such a big pile. As soon as you can get it turned into a habit, it's pretty easy to do. So I'm proud of me for staying on top of that. And if you haven't tried it yet and you're doing a lot of laundry, this is, this is a really nice way to go. So this is our middle, our middle's room, Charlie. And right now I am working really hard with her to actually sleep in this room. She is mama's girl and she loves to sleep next to me. She wants to sleep in our room on the floor next to me every night. And we just have back and forth about it every night. And usually to put her to bed, I will lay in here with her and we'll read books and we'll do back scratchies and we'll sometimes watch a cleaning video. That's like our thing to do together. And I love that time with her, but we're trying really hard to get her to actually like sleep in her bed. A lot of times she'll come into our room halfway through the night, which is fine. I just kind of want her to start off in her room and try to get used to it. If you remember the girls used to share a room and they really love doing that. I don't know what got off track outside of Charlie just wanted her own room. So we put her over here, but now it's the situation where Emmy has to sleep with lights on. Like she is full bright, all of the lights on sleeping and Charlie has to sleep in the dark. So it's opposite, but they both don't wanna sleep alone. It's just like a whole messed up thing. We're working on it. It's not that deep. Anyway, over here into Britain's room, just doing a little bit of a tidy up. I did a deep clean go through this room if you're not following me over on instagram or tiktok i'll put them both up on the screen and down in the description but i went through all of britain's room 
and um, I pulled out all of the clothes that do not fit her, which was so many clothes and I'm so sad, but I bagged them all up and now I'm sorting them through which ones I need to donate or give to a friend and which ones I'm gonna keep and turn into a memory blanket that, or a quilt that I wanna make for the girls. We are in the girls' bathroom now. This is the bathroom of a five and a four year old and you can't see it, but the floor is probably the grossest part. We had an interesting week in terms of accidents and stuff. So it needs a deep scrub on the floor. What is this stuff? Like what even happened here? Mystery cup, pacifier, medicine. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but. I keep a bin upstairs of bathroom cleaning stuff as well as refills and like general cleaning things. Well, I can't find my rubber made scrubby brush anywhere. I know I used it last week and I cannot find it. I'm probably gonna just use one of these sponges. I ended up tackling these sinks the good old fashioned way with a hand and a sponge, but I did miss my Rubbermaid brush. And of course I found it right after I filmed this, but the Dawn Power Wash cut through the toothpaste surprisingly well. I've used it before in here, but it's been a minute. And I was shocked it just like took one swipe to go through there. So if you're looking for something to clean sinks with, Dawn Power Wash. If you missed Wednesday's vo video, I had you guys vote on which project we should take on next, the laundry room or our half bathroom downstairs. And I think I'm gonna put a more official vote on Instagram so it's easier to tally up the choices, but those are the two that we are kind of looking at and planning. But this room a little bit, I will spare you a close up on that toilet. This room is also on that list of things we wanna do. We have leftover flooring from downstairs that we wanna replace the flooring in this room with. It was never laid down well and it has cracks in it and stuff gets stuck in there and I'm scared to find what we're gonna find when we pull it up, just knowing the accidents that we've had in this bathroom. I haven't decided that yet if we wanna keep this vanity bottom and just replace the top or if we're gonna take everything out, but I do know that I wanna take down this giant mirror. I don't like 
the full one piece giant thing. Next up for this room though is cleaning the floors, the sticky floors. And I'm going to some pine saw, which I have not used in forever. It reminds me of my childhood Saturday mornings cleaning the bathroom because that was the chore that I was given to do. And absolutely my least favorite room in the house to clean naturally. So I am emptying the trash can now and we're gonna vacuum and mop the bathroom floors. And we're even gonna take that mop up on the wall. That's what I love about the O Cedar mop is that you can use it on the baseboards and your walls. For whatever reason, the walls here had like drip marks down them. So I felt like they needed to be cleaned too. Um, so I'm gonna hit those first so that I'm not spreading floor germs onto the wall. Before I go, I just wanna take a minute and say a really big thank you and let you guys know how much I appreciate you for watching, liking, sharing, anything with my videos. You have been such a support for the last several years and because of you, I get to keep making them and keep motivating. And you guys motivate me, me as well. So I just wanna thank you for the difference you've made in my life and my family's life. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. The next one you see, this was all happening on a Saturday morning and I just went down to the basement and kept cleaning. So the next one you see will probably be the big basement clean. If not, it will be the organizing of our main bathroom. A lot is coming up. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much and happy cleaning. Bye.